Now, here's a point that I spoke to earlier. The nice guy manages the perceptions of others to avoid taking a hit to his self-esteem. So he is in perception management in order to avoid taking that further hit to his self-esteem. Whereas a good man, his self-esteem is not impacted by others and not impacted by others' perceptions of him. He's influenced by others, but he is not, his, his self-esteem is not based on, is not as a result of how others may or may not perceive him because he knows that rejection is part of life. Some people won't like him, all those things. And so what one of the... Um, the, the really important things that we need to touch on here that, that is going on for nice guys with all this kind of, uh, you know, nice for the approval, all, all that kind of stuff is these things, this transactional niceness is what we call covert contract. A covert contract is I'll do this for you and then I expect X in return, but I haven't communicated that with you. Therefore, it's covert. There's a contract that we've essentially entered into. And so what happens in that? It's a subtle form of manipulation. I am doing this and being nice, and being the nice guy, and, and being helpful, and all that kind of stuff, to manage your perception, and to hopefully, you know, create some kind of result, and that is a subtle form of manipulation, and if nothing else, that is not nice, that is not nice, whereas a good man is upfront with agreements, with requirements, with requests, and desires, he can communicate those things, also knowing that Guess what? He might hear no. Nice guys can't hear no nor say it. Good men can say no and can hear it. And so what often happens is a lot of resentment can build up around that covert contract, around the 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 negotiate um the transactions not being uh you know met and 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 reciprocated and so on and so what often happens for a lot of nice guys because they struggle to allow themselves to have needs and ask for what they want and receive what they want is that they become envious and jealous of others and at others expense and so what will often happen around others uh, sorry others success what will often happen around other success is kind of fake niceness perhaps and um, when underneath there's a little bit of that envy and jealousy and often um, either outwardly or inwardly complaining around that stuff and it's easy to project that outwards whereas really the reflection needs to turn on self whereas a good man is happy with others success happy for them has inspiration at others success appreciation sometimes for the inspiration that comes from that and so some of the stuff that extends from that for nice guys is there's this judges others inwardly but is potentially nice to their face. But there's a lot of judgment around that. Whereas the, the good man admires others inwardly and is nice to their face. Now, here's what is um, a theme through a lot of this, and I've kind of spoken to these words uh, at some point, and that is that the nice guy has this kind of conditional giving, right, in order to get something in return. It's that transactional element. Whereas the good man is has unconditional giving he is giving for the sake of it he is good and nice for the sake of it not for what the transaction happen, has on the other side and so what often happens therefore for the nice guy is he overcommits, overcommits, over can't say no can't say no want people to like me want me to say i have to say yes to everything say yes to everything and so when we overcommit like that by default we under deliver and we're often hoping that the words of commitment are enough that i will be seen as someone who can commit seen in a good light but that's fucking empty if you can't follow through on that and so the over delivering always feeling stretched always feeling stretched always coming last always copying it always letting people down not dependable that is very common for the nice guy whereas a good man is solid and dependable with his commitments he commits to things that matter and he makes them matter unless of course he can't make it and then he can speak to that he can own it i over committed i can't follow through that i'm very sorry he can apologize and own something willing to make a mistake because making a mistake mistake doesn't mean that you are a mistake doesn't mean that you are wrong because you were wrong when you first committed to that or you were wrong in your assessment that you could cover it let's say that doesn't mean that a good man backs out on every commitment but if he feels like he can't follow through on it or there's a consequence that is too heavy he can speak to that and own it and so what happens for the nice guy in this context is he regularly feels stretched. 
because he feels he says yes to everything spinning all the plates spinning all the plates spinning all the fucking hell stop spinning all the plates <laughs> but when you get into spinning the plate mode the only mode is to keep going because if you stop they'll smash and that's where the nice guy often feels. And so he's always stretched low on energy, no energy for himself. Whereas a good man, he can manage his energy and his yeses to actually be effective. And so you can see what happens here with the nice guy is that he struggles to say no, but he wants to do so. So he gets pissed off at himself for not doing it. And he gets pissed off at others for asking him. Just don't ask me. No, just say no. Set a boundary. And so that's where the good man comes in. What he can do is say no to requests when necessary. He understands his capacity and his boundaries. And he can communicate that with respect, with kindness, with compassion, without being an asshole, which is what the nice guy fears so much. Because being an asshole is like the, the crowning jewel of being not liked and not being a nice guy uh, or not being a, seen as a nice guy. And so what happens with these poor boundaries is that, the nice guy will generally have poor or, or low boundaries until he flies off the handle, right? And then, and then it becomes a, a, an overreaction. A, a wall goes up, shut down, something like that. Whereas a good man knows when boundaries are being pushed and can communicate effectively. And here's the point that I want to get to finally that sits at the base of all of this, our insecurity for nice guys, is that deep down he fears that he is not good enough. And he has a fundamental, fundamental root fear around his worth and worthiness. And he thinks that if he's not liked, if people don't like him, if he's not seen as nice, all these kind of things, that he will be seen as his deepest fear, which is not wanted, not good enough. And that runs his entire fucking life. 